Hi, welcome to this session. In this session, we are going to be talking about units and styles in HTML in C CSS. We are going to be looking at different types of units that we have. Anytime you want to maybe set the margin, you want to set the padding, you want to set the height or the width of a particular element in CSS. The two popular types of units that we have is the absolute unit and also the relative unit. And from the name, the absolute unit does not depend on anything. It is the unit that does not change based on the size of the few ports or the font size of the elements or, or of the parent. So it does not change. And then any size that we give to it, irrespective of what the size of the parent is, irrespective of what the child of the or what the size of the sibling is, irrespective of what the size of the child is, the size does not change. And we have big example to be pixel, example to be point example to be centimeter we also have inches and symbol the most popular is used one is this pixel so if i go ahead and say okay let me set let me just create a div and in this div i am going to just have three lorem words if i save now because i have opened with live server you can see that i have it now don't forget that in this same folder directory or let me just let me just do it inside the head so let's just create this tie this tie here and we're going to be selecting this div let me just call it class of absolute and just call it font 12 so just just for so i just call that class font 12 just call that class font 12 and i am going to be font 12 class of font 12 and i'm going to be setting the size to 12 pixels so if i save it now you can see that the size has reduced now if i want to increase the size it does not depend on anything all i just need to do is just come here and change this maybe to and change this maybe to 30 if i save it now you see that the size has increased so that is pixel in action and px stand for pixel so the second type of measurement is the relative measurement this relative measurement always is always based on the size of the parent elements or the root element and the most popular ones is the em the rem the percentage and also we also have the view height too which i want to and also we have the view view width so the first one, this EM, it just has to do with the font size of the parent element. Now look at this particular div now. Look at this particular div. Let me just say, let me just change the class name to, to size. Or let me just say unit types. Yeah, let me call it unit types. So I just copy this class name. And I change this from 12 to this. Now, take note of something. This is our text. I want to style it relative to the parent. I want to style it relative to the parent. I mean, want the size to change based on the size that the parent is. So, in this case, the, the parent of this div is the body. The sibling is the H2. So, if I come here and I say, and I say the, the body, as a font size as a font size if the body has a font size of let me see 12 pixel yeah 12 pixel so now if i come here and i say okay i'm using em here em means one percent of the size of the parent element one two means two uh, uh one means hundred percent two means two hundred percent so if i come here and i say one he him it means that the font size of this particular text will be 12. if i say two it means that the font size is going to be 24 pixel if i say i believe you get the logic now so it's just one means 100% of the size of the parent element. So if I come here and I save, this is 12 pixel. 
Now if I sorry 24 pixels, if I if I reduce it to one, if I save it, you see that it's reduced, but it's changing based on the size of the parent element. Now that is EM. Now the REM is similar to EM. The only difference is just that the REM is not relative to the parent, it is relative to the root element. You can see that the only difference is this R. This R means root. So this R means root and it means that it is relative to the root element. In this case, what's our root element? The root element is HTML. The root element is HTML. So if I come here and say, okay, the size of the root element can either we can write it like this root. Is this you see the same thing as saying HTML? So or you can say HTML. So you can also write it as by saying I think HTML will be more understandable to us. So that is the that is the root element. So if I say the font size, the font size. Notice that it must be the font size. The parent element must actually be the font size. So, or the, the one you are using it to reference must be the font size. So, maybe the pixel it can also be in EM too. Depends on your choice. So, pixel 34 pixel and just comment this out. comment this out so now if i come here now and i say okay this is normal em now it's going to now be relative to the root element which we are so if i save it now see that it's taking 34 pixels so unlike when it was e if i save it see that despite the fa sorry if i save it despite the fact that it is still one but the one when it was EM is smaller than when it was REM because this is relative to this 12 and when I put R, it's relative to the root element which is the HTML. Now the next unit is, the, the next relative unit is the percentage. This percentage is just relative to the parent element. Let's take for example, if I, if I set the size, it's relative to the parent element. So, for example, now if the parent element now is 12 pixel and it says 50 percent, just going to be taking half of the parent element. So, take note of the fact that see, if this one is font size, it can also be width, height, or anything. So, it's not I'm just using font size as an example. So, it's not compulsory. You limit yourself to the font size. So, now this this percentage now, let's say. The parent element is 12 pixels, so I just change this to maybe 50 pixels. So that's 6 pixels. So if I save it now, so that it becomes smaller, and I can also make it 150 pixels, so that it become 18. So that it become it. So this is 18 pixels. So it's just like the percentage increase of the parent element respective to the parent element. Now this next measurement unit is vh this vh stands for view height and this view height is just relative to the screen size so if you want to take the entire height of the screen it's always from it's always from 0 to 1 0 to 0 to 100 so 0 to 100 is v either vh or v v vw the vh is the height why the VW is the width. So if you want it to uh, occupy the entire screen, then use 100. In respect of the screen, even if it's a small screen, you can still set the entire screen height to be 100. So it will take the entire screen, in sense of the screen, maybe big or small. So let's say I want to have a div and I just make this div to be to be a box and I set the style of the box. Let me see the box to be background color of red. Now, this box now, I can set the height to 100 VH. You can see that it occupies the entire screen. It occupies the height of the screen. If I increase my, if I increase the size of my screen, it will increase with the screen. So if I want it to be maybe half of the height, so I'll just say 50. 
we just say 50 so you see that it's half of the height of the screen so entire screen is 100 and if you want it to be reduced maybe you can make it 80 it depends on you so but just know that when you hear vh units in css is just the view height the entire screen of any device that they are using your system on or they are using your application on and the opposite of vh is vw which is that vh is height while vw is width that is horizontal while vh is vertical and that is that for units and measurements in css